Great. Hello, everyone. I think we're on. Yeah, yeah, we're on. Great. Nice to see you all. I'm Aaron Fulkerson. I'm the general manager for ServiceNow Impact. I'm joined by an Impact Squad, which is an essential component of the Impact product. Uh, I want to alert you all that what we're going to walk through today are some of the Impact Squad key deliverables and how they help our customers. But just to my right, your left, you can get a demo of the Impact product experience through the digital experience as well as some of the key capabilities that the team will be talking about today. What I want to start with is, what were the problems that we set out to solve for our customers when we designed the Impact product? What we were hearing was, our customers were asking us for a higher level of support. So we're like, okay, a higher level of support. What do you mean by that? What are the problems that you're trying to solve? So we talked to more than 500 ServiceNow customers, and the recurring theme that kept coming up was, support was an aspect of it, but it wasn't the whole story. What the customer was telling us is, number one, there's a skills deficit. You heard Bill talking about it during the keynote yesterday, and one of their key challenges we heard from our customers was, building out their bench of ServiceNow expertise. The second thing we heard was, when we engage with a vendor, ServiceNow or anybody, we want that support and guidance and coaching to be personalized to our specific desired business outcomes, the products that we purchased, and the metrics that we're tracking against. Don't bring a one size fits all, come prepared with some industry knowledge, some account knowledge, and some knowledge of what our strategy is. And then the third thing we heard, and this was the key point that kept coming up as a recurring theme, for which all of the other items we heard were downstream symptoms of, takes too long to achieve value. I don't know how to tra track value. So what we designed with Impact, the product was, it's really a value acceleration solution. Now that sounds really fancy, for what we're really talking about here, which is you've made an investment in the ServiceNow technology stack, Impact is there to make sure that you're fully realizing the maximum value from that investment and you're achieving it as quickly as possible. So Impact was launched at the beginning of this year, but we have had customers on Impact for a year now, and what we've seen from our Impact customers is a 20% increase in value acceleration and typically as much as a 10% decrease in the cost of supporting that tech stack. So how are we doing it? Let's talk about some real world examples. So News Corp is one of our customers that have been with us for almost a year now. State of Montana is another one. In both of those cases, what I heard from the CIOs was the same thing and we heard it often within our accounts. Aaron, I'd like to see that my strategic vision for my ServiceNow investment gets, ma gets mapped into an operating model that can help my team stay on track against my strategic objectives. So, we'll start with Joshua. How are we delivering on that for our customer? So, my role as a success architect is your strategic advisor, dealing with topics such as strategy, value, governance, and things along those lines. So when it comes to uh, my, my role, one of the first things I'll do with you as a customer is we'll develop a, a, what's called a value blueprint. The value blueprint is essentially a map that takes your strategic objectives and maps those down to the, to the very detailed KPIs that you're going to use to track your achievement of your objectives. That's the value of the, of the, of the, the, the value blueprint. The value blueprint then on the back end sets up your operating model the recommendation engine in the, in, in the Impact Digital Experience, and value tracking, which you'll do over time to make sure you're achieving your objectives. Excellent, thank you, Joshua. So the next thing that we hear consistently is, your service now, you know what great looks like from a technology perspective. Now that you understand through the value blueprint what we're setting out to achieve, we'd like you to come in and provide us a technology roadmap. So, John, why don't you tell us how we achieve that for our customers? Sure, thanks Aaron. So my role as a platform architect is to advise our customers on architecture, design, technical governance, and uh, platform best practices. 
And we have a number of tools that we use to do that. One of them is a health, a health assessment, another one is a architecture blueprint, and another one is a technical roadmap. So one of the most important aspects that I help customers work on is a health assessment of their existing platform. And what we do is we take a look at that platform and we um, look at it with a focus on alignment to ServiceNow best practices. And then using the results of that, um, we work with our customers to uh, address any technical debt that we identify during that health assessment and then help them work on uh, remediating that technical debt and putting processes and procedures in place to prevent new technical debt from emerging in their platform as they develop. Um, one of my customers, State of Montana, um, actually has reduced their legacy technical debt by participating in this activity. And more importantly, over the last six months, they've introduced zero new technical debt into the platform um, by, by getting every development team on the same sprint cadence, getting every development team working um, uh, in understanding the same development standards and best practices, and then most importantly, measuring the drift at the end of every single sprint to best practices. And then we take that drift information and we have a meeting with all the development teams and we talk about whether we're going to allow that release to go into production with technical debt in it or if we're going to address that technical debt in real time before we allow that to go into production. So that's been a huge success factor for the state of Montana and their ability to adopt platform functionality really rapidly. The other two tools though, that I mentioned before the architecture blueprint is essentially a uh, point in time um, architectural map of your implementation and all its integrations. And that is a very important uh, tool for the platform owner and the stakeholders to understand what the platform looks like today and to help evaluate um, net new changes to the platform and how they may impact the platform. And then the last thing is the technical roadmap. So a technical roadmap is fundamentally um, a tool that catalogs all of your deployed and non-deployed ServiceNow capability. It maps that to the organization's business objectives and goals, and then puts a time phase view of those things um, onto a calendar where you can um, map out when you want to adopt ServiceNow functionality to help achieve your business goals. That's a great summary of one of the top three things we heard from our customer tour when we were designing the product of Impact, and that is too many customers are grappling with technical debt. You just heard John how we prevent that. Everything he describes all tracked through the app that we built on the Now platform that we call the Impact Digital Experience. Now, what if you already have accrued technical debt? Darmesh, how do we help customers with the technical debt that they might have had. Thanks, Aaron. Uh, my role as a support account manager is to ensure to maintain the stability of my customer platform all the time. So it could be by reactively by case updates, or it could be proactively using some internal monitoring tools, so, uh, using which I try to deflect as many P1s as possible. Now with Impact, the same ability has been provided in the hands of the customer using a tool called Instance Observer. So using with the customers can measure real-time updates of their instance, uh, how are they performing as against the various KPIs, they can set alerts, they can set notifications, just in case if something goes south, they can very well understand what's happening on the instance in real time. The other good beauty of, about this instance observer is like, it doesn't sit on the customer platform. It's a tool which is actually on a different platform, it gets feeds from a big data environment and provides real-time updates uh, to the customer. Also with Impact, the second thing that I would like to uh, uh, point out out here is like developer support, which in the past was never something. So if there were any issues and it was customized code, uh, we as support, we would never get, get into those codes. But now with, uh, with uh, Impact, we have something called as developer support where we will help the customer fix those issues uh, which are customized. Yeah, that's great. So we touched on some key points there. Instance Observer, there's a demo available in the pavilion over here of Instance Observer. Um, developer support never before offered at ServiceNow, now included with Impact. Uh, so uh, all of this is tied into the app that's built on the Now platform, which you can get a demo of here. 
and each of the interactions with the squad has an SLA tracked through that same app. But let's hear how we tie it all together. Why don't you fill us in? Yeah, thank you, Aaron. Um, so as a CSM, our job is really to facilitate and communicate all of the work that we do in impact, um, be able to make the right recommendations at the right time, um, you know, based on your entitlement with, with impact, and then tying it all back, so all of the work that we do as um, an impact squad, being able to tie all of that back to the specific outcomes that our customers are looking to achieve. Um, so a quick example of uh, one of our customers, Infor, who's actually looking to or implementing our customer service management CSM solution, um, one of the, the challenges they had was they were trying to align, you know, they had to make some quick decisions on some of their requirements, um, but they wanted to align their requirements with ServiceNow leading practices. So our recommendation from the squad was, hey, let's take advantage of your advisory sessions as part of your entitlement and impact. We'll have a subject matter expert come in, have a workshop session um, to understand what your requirements are, you know, understand that you guys want to stay out of the box. That's something that they brought to us and then being able to educate the customer or Infor on those leading practices and make recommendations to align their requirements with those same leading practices. So ultimately for Infor, this allowed them to make quicker decisions on the requirements that they had. Um, it made their customer service team much smarter and faster going into the conversations with their uh, solution implementer, and it also helped reduce and limit the technical debt going into the implementation as well. That's a great summary, and the key entitlements that Jamie highlighted, advisory sessions, which are these half-day workshops, but also, and it's hard for me to hear Jamie, so I'm apologizing if I'm repeating over you, but we have accelerators included with Impact as well. And these are service catalog items exposed in the Impact application from which you can select these fixed scope services, anything from tune up your CMDB, tune up your security, jumpstart and upgrade, um, setting up a dashboard we'll be rolling out next quarter. Key point about what I just said, we'll be rolling it out next quarter, impact is a product. So today, depending upon your impact tier, you have a certain number of accelerators. You can use them as much as you want throughout the subscription. Every quarter we roll out new accelerators and new impact features. So today we have about 30, I think it is. They're fantastically valuable. Take a look at the list over in the pavilion but every quarter we add new ones based on what we're hearing from our customers. So I want to thank you all for attending. I want to bring your attention, I will do, we'll have time for questions, but I want to bring your attention to a couple of other sessions. One, Accenture is an Impact customer. They have a session about their experience with Impact later today, I want to say it's about three o'clock if I remember correctly, and it's on the expo floor in one of the theaters. I strongly recommend you attend the Accenture session. Tom Bruss, who's the platform owner at Accenture, is giving a talk about his experience with Impact and how those challenges, he had exactly the same ones, Impact has helped him to overcome that. Uh, and then other than that, I'd love to take questions from the audience. Hey folks, thanks so much for sharing. Can you speak a little more to the concept of drift and what sort of things you're looking at and tracking there um, in terms of the tech debt and that divergence from best practice? Sure, you said, um, it's, and I apologize for asking you to repeat, it's so hard to hear up here. You said the concept of- Drift. Okay, so drifting away from the, the out of the box, yeah. Um, John's probably the best one to answer that one. Sure, I'll take a stab at it. Um, so, Aaron's right, right? So, um, ServiceNow has an established set of best practices that um, have really been built from years of working with customers and seeing customers do certain things to the platform that ultimately impact the platform in some negative way. Um, manageability, upgradability, security, performance, user experience, those types of domains. And so, we have a, um, an engine that has the ability to scan your instance and look for these best practices and deviation from them within your platform. And that's the drift that I'm talking about. So um, this tool is called HealthScan. And um, one of the things that we can bring to bear under the auspices of impact is we can actually run these health scans on a cadence 
and we can not only um, provide you a scorecard that kind of gives you an, an idea of where your platform is from a health perspective and alignment to best practices, but we can also establish a cadence that aligns to your development cycle, your sprint cycles, and at the end of every single sprint, we can do something called a sprint scan, and the sprint scan actually shows us the delta between the last scan we did and your current development so that we can really focus in on anything that was created during that uh, sprint that is not well aligned to best practices and we can address that in pretty close to real time. Yeah, and I'll, I'll add to this too. Um, one of our accelerators that we offer is a governance model. So this provides some best practices around how do you roll out uh, your service now uh, 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 configurations and changes in a manageable manner, particularly if you have multiple partners, the governance model is super helpful. But even without the partners, the governance model will help prevent that. Another key point I'll make too is, John was talking earlier about doing the technology road mapping with you. One of the great benefits of a platform architect and the rest of the squad is, they know our product lines roadmaps. So they can help you navigate what's coming out six, 12 months from now and that'll prevent you from painting yourself in a corner with technical debt as well. Um, is there another question we can answer? All right, well thank you all so much for your time. Please go get a demo. By the way, those tech KPIs that John was referring to with the scorecard are in the impact application and you can take a look at them in the pavilion as well as part of the demo experience.